Hello, my name is Brett Milano, and in this tutorial, I'll be going over Microchip's secure exchange process for provisioning secure ICs. In this tutorial, I'll mainly use the ECC608 as my example. However, this provisioning flow applies to all of Microchip's TrustFlex and Trust Custom devices. Now let's get started. A typical Microchip customer looking into security will first learn what use cases best fit their application and then implement those use cases into their prototype. After they're confident with their design choices, they will request verification units from Microchip using the secure exchange process. And the last step will be for the customer to approve of the verification units so Microchip can take the information from the secure exchange process and begin production. In this video, we'll focus on the last two steps. To begin the secure exchange process, first you'll fill out and download a secure exchange process questionnaire. You will then start a new technical support case to submit your secure exchange questionnaire to Microchip, who in turn will send you an RSA key and possibly a CSR. The key is an RSA public key that will be used to encrypt the provisioning package. Microchip will also supply a custom part number that is specific to each customer or customer project. With these files, you'll generate an encrypted provisioning package through TPDS that you will then submit back to Microchip through your support ticket. Once Microchip has your information and key secrets, customers can then order their verification units through Microchip Direct. And once you have tested and are satisfied with the configuration in the verification units, you will submit your final approval to Microchip to begin production. Before we go any further, it is required for this process that you have the Trust Platform Design Suite downloaded to your computer and that you create a My Microchip account. Links will be below in the description. Here I have opened the Trust Platform Design Suite software and we will go to the secure exchange process. Under Solution, you will select the secure IC that you want verification units for as well as the provisioning flow and the part package and the communication protocol. Note that if you have more than one secure IC in your design, you will need to fill out the whole questionnaire again for each secure IC in your design. Under the next tab called Project, you will fill out a program name, a program version, and a program description. You will also select a production time frame and enter one to three emails connected to a Microchip Direct registered account. Under the project requirements, you have the option to select if your project requires a custom PKI or WPC CHI 1.3 provisioning. In the project environment, you will select the main controller and VR embedded system, the vendors that you used, as well as the communication link between your embedded system and an external system. Then you will select Save User Data, which will download the questionnaire to your computer. Now that you have your secure exchange questionnaire, you need to submit it to Microchip. So you'll click Support and then Technical Support. This will bring you to your My Microchip account, and you'll select My Cases, and then you'll select to create a new case. We're going to select Value Added Services, and then for the subject, it is provisioning the Secure IC. In the primary target device, you will enter the Secure IC, and you can select just the plain device number. Then optionally, you can add the other microchip devices or non-microchip devices that will be in your project environment. And lastly, for category, you'll select provisioning services. And subcategory, you'll select the option for the provisioning flow you chose in your questionnaire. On this page, you can add more details about your project and what devices you want to provision. And then you can add more details about the end application of the device. Then you'll click Submit and Attach Files. And for attaching the files, you will upload the Secure Exchange questionnaire that you downloaded for this device. And once you upload the questionnaire, you can select Done. 
Once you've submitted the questionnaire to Microchip, after a short time, Microchip will respond with an RSA key and possibly a CSR. To get to the RSA key and CSR, you'll go to the Attachment section, and they should be listed here with your questionnaire that you submitted for the ticket. You will only need a CSR if you are connecting your device to a custom PKI or public key infrastructure. If you are not attaching your device to a certificate chain, you will only receive the RSA key. All secure ICs will receive an RSA key so you can download the encrypted provisioning package from the Trust Platform Design Suite. So once I download these two items, we can go back to the Trust Platform Design Suite. Now I'm back in the Trust Platform Design Suite and we'll go to the 608 TrustFlex Configurator. I've already had all the fields filled out since you should already be familiar with the configurator from your prototyping phase. If you're not, please go check out our other tutorials to go over the prototyping phase. In the configuration, I've selected the use case asymmetric authentication and I've filled in the information for a device certificate, a signer certificate, and the root key information. Now, when you are ready to request your verification units and download this encrypted provisioning package, use your real project keys. When you are prototyping, you will use dummy keys that will never be used for production. We also have a reminder under the prototype buttons to only use dummy key secrets for your prototypes. Now when you're ready to go to production and order your verification units, you will use your real project secret keys in the encrypted provisioning package. There's also a reminder to use your real project secret keys under the production section. So click generate encrypted provisioning package and we will upload our RSA key and our CSR. If you are not connecting to a certificate chain, you will only need to upload the RSA key and not a CSR. The last item in this window is a CA key, which is optional to input now. If the key is provided now, the tool will sign the CSR and generate the final package. If the key is not provided, the tool will generate a signed CSR package to sign the CSR offline. Refer to the readme.md file in the zip file for signing instructions. We'll click OK and now the package is downloaded to our computer. Back on our support ticket we can upload our encrypted provisioning package we received from TPDS. Click Done. Once you submit the encrypted provisioning package to Microchip and your information is processed, Microchip will instruct you through your case on My Microchip to order your verification units. Once you place your order, Microchip can send you your verification units. Once you receive your verification units from Microchip, you want to test them to ensure the configuration is what you want to go to production. Once you're satisfied with the configuration, you'll go to Microchip Direct and select Approve on your verification units. Once you select Approve, you will go to production. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to this channel. For more information on our secure exchange process, please look to the description below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.